Hey, all you bronies and Pega sisters, and welcome to another her episode review. This is the review of episode three of season six, entitled "The Gift of Mod Pie." This episode, who is about Pinky and Rarity and meeting up with Mod in Manhattan, and uh, Pinky and R Pinky spends most of the day. He trying to get the perfect gift for an exchange of gifts that apparently she does regularly with not just Maude but her other sisters as well. Now, I'd love if this became like not not every season. This you know they could throw an episode like this in every few seasons. Like there needs to be. He follow ups with the other two sisters because that would just make sense. Make it a nice round off. And they pretty much left it open for another one rare with a uh, mod at the end. After all the, uh, after the, uh, at the end of the episode. But I uh, will talk about that after I've talked about the rest of the episode, of course, and started to start. Um, so. Pinky and Rarity are on the train. They're heading to Manhattan. And Pinkie Pie, of course, her usual self, Wolf is bouncing around the train and saying off her party and then and pretty much annoying everyone on the train. And Rarity, you know, she's, she's acting all calm. She hasn't lost her shit that she's going to Manhattan again. And something I found very strange is that, that Rarity said... That Manhattan is the best city in Equestria, or something like that. And I'm like, in the very first episode, when she learned Twilight was from Canterlot, she said to Twilight that she had always dreamed of living in Canterlot. So I'm like, okay, Rarity, which is it? Do you want to live in Canterlot, or do you want to live in Manhattan? And were you happy in, in Ponyville? I, I I generally do not get it, and I was I was really disappointed. To be fair, I thought this episode might be an opportunity for a uh, fan favorite Coco Pinnell to make a maybe a small appearance on the side at all. Oh, but she didn't appear. She didn't appear. Uh, who knows? Maybe when the boutique actually opens, and it's because. Rarity has chosen, uh, as I said, and I'll talk about that later, but she did choose a location for her boutique, which I'll talk about in a moment. So, e, well, Mod and Boulder are looking at postcards, which apparently Boulder wants to send a postcard to its cousin. I'm like, what? Are rocks alive in 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 Equestria? I I, I I generally don't understand. Like I get it. It's kind of like Mod's thing that she has a pet rock, and growing you know on a rock farm that the five sisters did. I can get. I can understand. You know, they're big into their rocks. So. So yeah, there is that. Uh, but it generally didn't make much sense that she was a she, she I I'm almost convinced Maud is almost like trolling everybody by pretending this rock is actually a a, a a pet. She might be trolling, she might be genuinely serious. Who knows? Who indeed knows? Uh, but yeah, uh, Maud, uh, um, well, they were looking at postcards, Pinky talked to her, she said, okay, here's what I'm gonna get Maud, I'm gonna get her pouch for Boulder, and that's apparently better than every present Pinky he has ever gotten from Maud. And every, and Pinky says, every year. 
Ma blows her away with what she gets her. I'm like, if a pouch beats everything she's giving you, you must have low, low standards of what is a good gift. But, yeah. So, well, they go on like a, a little tour of Manhattan and Rarity says she'll when they get close to the store where the pouches are sold, well, she'll distract Maude and Pinky can go off and get the pouch. So, and we see like a little callback to, uh, d mm, don't. Where, or like, the, there's a map and, and there's lines, and suddenly Pinky is drawing in, in crayon mm. with a line on a map in a different color or obviously calling back to when she was painting the line from in Daring Don't which you know bonus continuity all that good stuff so yeah and then she threw away the, the crayon and it landed in some in, in ponies he's food and I'm like is Pinkie Pie not even gonna apologize? You know, that seems like a really shitty thing to do. Ooh, I don't know if she knew or oh, she did it, but still. Anyway, hey. Uh, so when Pinkie he goes to get the pouch, pouch, pouch. This guy, this our, this pony, he he is trying to get Pinky's party cat, and I'm massively confused. I'm like, I thought Pinky had multiple bar party cannons. I we've seen her with two, multiple ones. I mean, we know she had multiple ones hidden around Twilight's castle in, in the up. Uh, in Castle, Sweet Castle, at the start of season five, but uh, apparently now she only has one. So, um, I don't understand why she has lost some of her party cannons. I don't know where they went. Maybe the writers wanted it to seem more. More devastating that she lost her only party cannon, and uh, when they were exchanging gifts, you know, Pinky gave Mod the pouch, and what Mod got Pinky was kef yeah, I hate that word, confetti. She got her confetti for the party cannon. You could see Pinky tearing up because she had obviously given it away, and Mod didn't know this. So Rarity is talking to Mod, saying how nice the pouch is. We've seen Rarity he, when Mod first made her first official debut, not not her random appearance in Pinky Pride, it, uh, the actual episode Mod Pie. It, in that episode, we saw Rarity didn't read really Joe hit Mod. And we see Rarity was trying her best to not let that she didn't really understand Mod. But I guess you could say it affect the conversation. And Rarity accidentally let it slip. At least I think it was an accident. Maybe she, uh, I I I I mean I'm not Rarity's biggest fan. I mean. I don't, I don't hate the character. I, I, out of the main six, she's probably my least liked character. I, I don't know why. Um, like I said, I'm nothing against the character. I, and uh, Tara, um, Tabitha Saint Germain does a very good uh, job with her voice. So, I, was, I have nothing against Rarity. She's 
I like other characters better. But, you know, she really had a very important role in this episode. You know, you could tell that the episode was beneficial having her there. I mean, you could have had an episode where it's just Pinky and Maud. Um... But yeah, that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, Rarity accidentally. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it was an accident. I mean, she's the element of generosity. I'm gonna assume generosity doesn't. In, you know, I I can't imagine it's being too generous if you're guilt tripping a, a sister to feel bad about it present she got from her sister even if the other sister gave away something she really loved but once Maud learns that Pinky gave away her party can they go to find the pony who who, who Pinky traded the party can to who 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 in the end and Pinky got her cannon back. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't my favorite episode. I probably won't watch it again. Let's not say it's a bad episode. You know, it, it's a good episode from a certain standpoint. Like, I like the character mod, but, you know, and Pinky's funny as well. It's just something just didn't click for me with this episode. I don't know what it is. Um, I guess it's pro it might be just one of those things, you know. Uh, but, yeah. S but the fact that it didn't click with me doesn't mean it won't click with you. So if you haven't seen it, uh, do go s s uh, search it on the internet. It's I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, as I did with the first, with the uh, premiere, I'm going to give a rating out of 10. Um, personally, I'll give it, I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Um, but I personally won't be watching this episode again anytime soon. Uh, if I want to watch a Mod Pie episode, I'll just watch Mod Pie. It's a much better episode. But I'm not here to talk about Mod Pie. I'm the episode of Mod Pie. I'm here to talk about this episode. And this episode gets a 7 out of 10. You know, decent. Uh, I'm really looking forward to next week's episode, which is the Key Marker Series first episode that's featuring them. That's they are the main focus of after they got their Key Marks, and I am praying that they get that their Key Marks appear on the map. I mean, make this a reality. It, the synopsis is pretty much guaranteeing that's what's happening. Because it's pretty much saying that they're going to argue over where, what they should do next. And they don't know how they're going to know who, who and stuff like that. And I'm like, the map. Their key marks are going to appear on the map. Uh, but I'm not going to say it is. It's stupid because although the synopsis sounds pretty pretty you know pretty pretty bland the episode hopefully should be good the CMC are all just good for a laugh uh, so yeah can't wait for that episode but the gift of mod pie 7 out of 10 like I said I won't be watching it again but I I would not um, def I would not say don't go and watch it, you know. Do definitely uh, give it a watch, you know. One watch at most, you know. If 
you'll kick yourself if if you miss it because you know it, it's it's story after all and you know if you want to be up to date I mean missing one episode you know if like unless you're not a big fan of like if you've seen the reviews or something maybe you did watch it and you didn't like it and I in that case I'm not gonna tell you you have to go watch it again but if you haven't seen it yet I uh, would encourage you to try and see it because you know it's, it's one of those things you know just have to see it once you know give it one try and you never know maybe you'll like it maybe you won't some people like different things and that's why the brony community exists ladies and gentlemen because people give something they didn't know they'd like a try and look at the community now so in a sense this this episode is 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 the community which is weird you think slice of life would be the community but no it's 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 this episode definitely it's one of those ones that if you give it a try you never know you might like it and you might not Uh, don't get me wrong, just because this episode didn't click with me doesn't mean I'm not going to watch the remainder of the season and the following seasons. And Hasbro haven't pissed me off to the point where I'm going to stop watching it. It's, uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, that hasn't happened yet. They're Hasbro. We, 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 we know they're, they're prone to doing unusual things, so you never know, but we'll see. Hopefully, uh, next week's episode will click with me better. I think it will, definitely. It might even get 10 out of 10, and if it's good enough. But 7 out of 10 for Mod Pie, um, for the gift of Mod Pie, sorry. Hey, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, smash the like button if you did. Subscribe hey, for more reviews and videos very very soon and until next time I hope you all have a very nice day peace